This mountaineering helmet helped this man get a lung transplant. Brandon Ryland has cystic fibrosis, and at age 29, his lungs were failing. Just kept on coming to the hospital, and then my lung functions just dropped way below its normal, and then they just told me I'm gonna have to get a lung transplant. This portable ECMO machine played an important role too while Brandon waited on the transplant at UAB. ECMO machine is, is a miniature heart-lung machine. Um, not unlike what we use in the operating room on a daily basis for cardiac surgery, but miniaturized. The machine took the place of Brandon's failing lungs. Blood is pumped out, carbon dioxide removed and oxygen added, then the blood is pumped back into his body. And there are two big tubes attached to this one uh, hose that comes out of the neck. And the tubes, take one takes the blood away and the other one sends it back. And they're kind of flapping in the breeze. The way they were secured was to bring them over his head and then wrap it in a, in a turban-like thing with a gauze. Which is okay for somebody who isn't moving much, but doctors needed Brandon to be mobile. A gauze turban wasn't cutting it, thought Tyndall, who climbs mountains for fun. That red helmet of his has been to a lot of high peaks. And I just happened to think that maybe a, a climbing helmet that, that could securely you know, uh, encompass the head, you know, tighten it down, adjust it to where it, it wouldn't slide around, it would give a firm foundation that we could then put the, the tubing on. It worked, and Brandon's UAB team was able to get him up and walk him each day, a critical step in keeping him healthy enough for the transplant and a unique use for ECMO and a red climbing helmet. We were able to get the whole team together, put him on ECMO and everyone agreed, okay, we're gonna work so that however long it takes to wait for the lungs for him, we'll keep him walking and keep him mobile so that when we do get to the lungs for him, he won't be so far behind the eight ball that he can't recover. Two weeks later, transplant surgeon Spencer Melby's team got the call. Lungs that were a match for Brandon were available in New Orleans. Brandon got his transplant on December 12, 2012. In April 2013, he got good news at a checkup. My lungs is clear. My breathing function keeps going up. I've been great. I've been breathing better than I've ever done in my whole life. Tyndall says using ECMO as a bridge to lung transplant is new and uncommon. And we are certainly not the first people to do it, although there are very few centers um, in this country that are. Um, everybody's moving that way, and you know, happily we're the first in this area to, to have done it. And, um, and I'm sure we'll be doing it again very soon. Because it lets people like Brandon Ryland walk. Now people's gotta wait on me, because I just enjoy walking so fast, I guess, I get carried away.